things I did want to talk about is personalization. You mentioned personalization and I, I jotted that down and I want to know what does that mean exactly to you and how can planners apply that to events? Yes, you can definitely score a lot of points by producing content and experiences that are relevant to people. Um, everybody wants, wants the experience to be relevant to them. So when you're planning events, um, it's important to start by using insights about your target de demographic and what's going to appeal to them and ultimately influence their behavior. Um, so as often as possible, I like to offer choices when it comes to event experiences. Um, and this is such a simple tactic that'll just show your attention to different preferences and attendee needs. Um, I was recently at uh, the TED Women's Conference and it was great. They did a really simple thing um, that, that catered to attendee preference. They had a simulcast lounge and also in-room uh, keynote viewing. And the folks who, who were in the keynote viewing were folks that really just wanted to absorb the content. You know, devices weren't allowed. Um, it was this incredibly intimate environment. Um, but then the reality is some people are going to want their phones up. They're going to want to multitask. They might want to be having a conversation on the side. So these simulcast lounges uh, were beautifully plush and they had all these screens with great sound um, tables for people to use for their computers if they wanted them. So identifying that there's multiple needs uh, of attendees and catering to multiple demographics if you have them. Um, is an easy way to win people over and demonstrate that you're pay paying attention. Um, things like offering push notifications via an event app can help keep your attendees in the know about specific things that might interest them in real time. Um, it's great. Event apps now can target attendees based on their selected preferences and then offer recommendations for what sessions or activities they should be going to or what people they should meet. Um, one pro tip is just make sure that you don't exceed around 10 push notifications a day. That's, that's <laughs> the, the study number that tends to get annoying. Um, and then, you know, I think personalization is going to vary based on the scale of, of your event for 30,000 person, 30,000 person conference like Google cloud next, I personalize its scale. Uh, things like agenda builders or one-on-one -on -one time with experts or, you know, pick your own swag choices are things that scale a lot better. Um, and in general, my role is the higher touch an event, the more intimate an audience, the more you can, the more you can lean in and personalize. Uh, for instance, with these smaller demographics, uh, sorry, so these smaller events, um, you can do things really special like special amenities. Um, to use an example that I experienced personally, I don't know, maybe eight years ago, I had just passed the court master sommelier exam. And I was staying in a hotel for an event and they had done their research and seen on my wine blog that I had, you know, just passed this court master SOM exam. And so when I walked into my hotel room to stay for the night, they had actually printed out a blind tasting test and then created this blind tasting scenario with, you know, the wine bottle covered in a bag and a really nice like accoutrement with it. Um, and it was so much fun. I, it just brought this delight to me that I got to guess the wine and that they had you know, done the research. Uh, or even just recently I showed up at a hotel um, and this was shortly after I'd come back to work after maternity leave and they had, found a picture of my son online and printed it and framed it and just put it near my bed in the hotel room. And just little things like that, to me and a partner, if they're paying attention, um, that's going to translate to how they treat my guests and make me want to do business with them. Hmm, that's true. I didn't think about it from the, the vendor point of view, uh, but uh, what, what struck me is when you're talking about personalization for a group of 30,000 and you know, uh, uh, personalization on the scale, and it sounds like there's little things that, that you can you can do uh, to personalize without you know thirty thousand individual personalizations. But you know, I'm I'm also thinking too. Not not everybody is producing large events uh, for thirty thousand people. Uh, what what can a planner do?